Hey hey and welcome back to the Guild 3 and the story of Richardson. First of all, sorry that it took me two weeks for this new episode, but I was kinda depressed and actually sad that we lost the whole progress of the game and I didn't feel the new save too much, but I came back and uh, played a little bit of another game to maybe get fresh eyes on it a little bit later and actually found a good way to bring the series forward and even the game gave it me to me in the safe game before everyone was nice to thomas but now we got a the first dynasty that actually want to fight with us and that's a thing that we see today in an early winter morning a courier of the council showed up at the door of the richardson he gave the news that Thomas is now officially the council assistant and with that that he needs to go to London to accept his position as a council assistant. First Thomas was like, I was not doing this, I never wanted to be that. But Lorena said everything is okay, you did it before you lost your memories. So Thomas shaked his head and thought okay and moved on and went towards London to find out what he needs to do as a city council assistant since he didn't know what to do now and he wanted to ask his colleagues now in the council what his position is and what he could change. Meanwhile, Lorena knew her plan went well. So she went out and met with a shady man that she met long ago. The name of the man was Roderick. He was a quite young fellow, but one of the bad guys. He made his money with dealing informations and stealing from people. And that is the perfect person for Lorena's plan. So Lorena told him what his job is and what he needs to do and who the first target is. A bit later, Thomas finally got to the city hall to find out what his position could do, what his job is, what he needs to do. He met with his colleagues, the new people, and he actually got several people below him, a thing that he never thought. He has two town clerks working for him. One of them was Tamara Panier, a name that we should remember for later on. After they came out of the city hall, he noticed that he already did a lot change, but he didn't knew. He never changed the law, but there was his name below it. From now on, stink bombs are allowed in the region of London. Why should he allow stink bombs? That's a thing that he couldn't understand. Was he the person that allowed it or was Larina behind it? That fit, fit together. He knew that Larina was in London, but he didn't know what she did there. Maybe she voted him into the council and she changed the law in his name. So Thomas went back to the old rod to maybe find out while working what is going on. To get his head straight again, he did one thing that he actually learned from Herbert. When Herbert was thinking a lot about both of them, he went to the old rod and smashed he uh, the fish heads. So Thomas went over to the rod and smashed the fish heads to get his frustration out and maybe think about it. One of his workers noticed that. Marie told him to met him in the corner of the village to talk about it since she noticed that something is not right with Thomas. So later on Someone both met in the, the corner of the village and Thomas told her what happened. Marie was instantly triggered by the whole situation. She knew that Lorena is not the right person for Thomas and Lorena has its own plans that are quite shady in some times. And Thomas is now the toy of Lorena. And Thomas should take care what the plans of Lorena are. While Thomas tries to figure out what Lorena plans are, Lorena got actually passed by on Tamara Panier. And Tamara Panier was accusing Lorena of bribing the council to choose Thomas over her to the assistant. And now she needs to work below Thomas as a clerk and made her point clear to Lorena that she can't stand if someone tries 
to play around with her. But this was actually fitting in the plan of Lorena. Someone has she knew this was happening and sent over Roderick already over to Brixton to find out if there is some shady business going on around the Panier family. And he actually found some new interesting facts about the Panier family from a woman that was willingly talking quite a lot about the family of Panier. In the end, he found out that the Panier family got her own craft and that the dynasty around the Paniers is actually an enemy of any croft owner in all in the whole region of London. And that's actually the reason why Tamara is so triggered about Thomas well about as you. a council assistant. Since not only is he now in the position that she wanted to be, but he also owns his own croft. While talking to the woman, Roderick knew instantly what he needs to do. He takes advantage of the new law change that he already was formed by. He could use stink bombs to damage the reputation of the Panier family. Thomas was back at the pier and tried to figure out what's going on. He lost his family that he loved. He is now in a new world, kinda, where he doesn't know who to trust and who to work with. He noticed Marie seems to be quite honest in what she's doing and how she speaks with them. Same time, he got two kids with Lorena, and Lorena seems to be quite interesting. And if Marie is right, he's just a toy of her. At the same time, he wants to get home, but where is his home? It's all questions that fly around in his head. And with this, we are ready at the end of this. Quite short episode as I always say, but it's just coming down. I always play two hours the game and then shortening it down to the portions to get a story in. As I said, I'm sorry that it took me two weeks. I did a short break of the game to find a new view of the whole thing. Played a lot of War Thunder actually. <laughs> Got back in that groove. And if you have any ideas how I could evolved the whole story. I'm open for commissions actually. I, I open I'm really open for it if you have any opinion where we should head. Right now I only know that it seems like that Thomas is in a weird situation. He seems to be a just the toy of Lorena and at the same time he wants to head home and I don't know, it's it's an interesting point where we are right now and I don't know where we're coming. Plus we got a first fight with a Dynasty and I didn't even force it. That's the fun part. I was trying to f force a fight this episode But I didn't want need to since the Panier family just came <laughs> Out of nowhere and started to fight me. So I'm interested where we're gonna head in the next episode when maybe the fight is evolving So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I see you guys in the next episode Bye